Dallas, Texas. I'm riding, um, and today I want to take you to my old neighborhood. I want to take you to the place that I used to live when I was in high school. Um, I think maybe my first my first few years in uh in college, I lived in this neighborhood. And in this neighborhood, it's like one of the best fish restaurants in the city. Now, I think I told you guys before that when you come to Dallas, you got to do two things. You got to get fish and you got to get some barbecue because nobody does fried fish and barbecue like they do it in Texas. You know what I'm saying? We don't play that up north stuff. We all about the fried fish down here. So we're going to go get some fish. I'm going to show you guys where I used to live, the house that I used to live in, my neighborhood. Um, And yeah. So let's ride and let's take a little bit of tour and then I'm gonna show y'all how good this fish is. Y'all ready? Let's do this. Um, when I was first learning how to drive, I used to be so afraid that these curves are gonna take me out. I was gonna hit one of these trees. But so you can see over here, we kind of got, um, there's a cemetery over there. Very nice cemetery. You don't wanna see that. We don't wanna see no cemetery case. But one of the things that I want to point out is, man, on my block, like, I swear, we're going to pass, seriously, like, five churches in, like, a mile radius, all right? There's one, all right? All right? Are y'all counting? Are y'all counting? We're coming up now. Uh, look, guys, look. I kid you not. There's another church. That's two. Are there more? I promise you. I promise you there's another one. I used to live over here. Look. There's three churches, guys, and like we hadn't even driven a mile, really. It's crazy. But anyway, um, this is the um, kind of the food market that we used to go to. It's a really kind of a poor neighborhood, guys. As a matter of fact, the name of the neighborhood is Singing. This is called Singing Hills neighborhood. And um, if you know anything about Sing Singing Hills, hey, well, hold on. There's another church. What's that? Like four churches, five? Anyway, um, the Singing Hills area. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. There's a church right there. Oh my God, it's more than I thought. And there is a church right there, guys. I swear, that's like six churches. But anyway, um, so I live in this neighborhood right here. on. Um, and I remember having like these barbecues and stuff in the backyard with my mom. She was really young. She had me at a really young age and I didn't realize that she was renting this house and it was a great house. It was all we knew, but here's the house right here, guys. It looks like somebody's living there now, but that's the house that, um, I lived in. It's kind of the house that I grew up in. Nice little cute house. Lots of, uh, shade right there. The windows, my room was, was back there on this side of the house. Um, there was a community center around the corner out here and the way I learned how to play basketball was I would walk up to this community center and they would pretty much allow us to um, just come and, and hang out and play for free even though we were supposed to have like a little membership but they let us play for free. And um, I really, I really learned how to play ball growing up in this neighborhood because um, during the summer times when my mom worked, um, she really wanted me to be active and not just be at home like just laying around and so I got a chance to go up there and play with the guys and stuff like that got pushed around and uh, You know eventually I got really good at it and I got better and better So that was really a big part of my success but I'm gonna show you the house again. I'm gonna drive slow this time. Uh oh, there's a car behind me can't drive too slow But that's my house right there you guys That's my old place of residence. So just wanted to show you that it's really good to go back to where you came from you know reminisce obviously we don't live over here now um, we live in a much better neighborhood this neighborhood is not known for good things I will tell you that I'll be honest with you there's a lot of crime I remember clearly one time when we lived in that same house that I showed you uh, we were leaving one day and um, when we were leaving to go somewhere there was like a car that was parked like near our house, like up the street. And I remember my mom saying, what, what is that car doing parked over there? So we didn't think much of, of it. We had just never seen the car before. And as soon as we left, you guys, do you know that they went and like robbed our house? And we figured it out that they were waiting for us to leave so that they could go break in. Um, so, you know, that that's the kind of neighborhood that it was, but I'm so grateful that my life is not like that anymore. 
but I want you to know that if you do if you find yourself living in that situation like that that you know it doesn't have to mean that your life is like that all the time you know nobody's perfect life is not perfect but you know I'm just blessed to not have to be afraid because that, that'll put fear in you you know somebody parked outside of your house and then they wait till you leave and come in and like rob you like that's scary but anyway y'all all right so that's my neighborhood so now let's walk through and I'm gonna show you some of the best fish in the city Runnies catfish guys, that's where we're going. Woo, y'all got a lot. <laughs> I'm coming to y'all house for the party, huh? <laughs> yes. Oh, you're welcome. How you doing? Um, I called in an order for Casey. No, you're not. <laughs> no? no? Alright. Ah, uh, 35. So we had a little hiccup. You know the fish is gonna be good <laughs> when they don't even take credit cards. You know what that means? Let me tell y'all what that means. That means that that's somebody's grandma back there flying that fish. And they like, look baby, we only taking cash because when we do the whole credit card swipe thing, we gotta pay that little two, three percent processing fee and we ain't trying to do that. We want all our money. They do not take credit cards, y'all. That's crazy. So now I'm headed to the ATM to get some cash. Don't want to have to do this, but I guess I will because I already ordered the fish and it's hot and it smells amazing. So we just got to figure it out. So once I go get the cash, we shall come back and I shall show you. Uh oh, there's a police. Let me put on my seatbelt while I'm showing you. What am I going to show you? What am I going to show you? I'm glad you asked. I'm going to show you the wonders of fried catfish. Alright y'all, we got the cash. I had to go up in Walgreens and buy like one package of gum and get $20 in cash to get this fish. That's how serious this is. Let's try this again. Y'all made us a fresh batch? Well, it's still warm. How much is it? Lord, if it's over 20, I'm in trouble. If it's over $20, I'm in trouble, y'all, because I only got $20. But I did get some extra tartar sauce. But still. I'm making a video, I'm sorry. Look at that, y'all. Bible up in here. I like that. Thank you. Thank you. I man. What? I did that. You got the extra tartar? Yes. She did that, y'all. She on top of it. I appreciate y'all. I'm getting y'all some business on this video. I'm gonna give a shout out to Runny's Catfish. Yeah, we in Dallas, Texas. Best catfish in the hood. I'm about to show them. I'm about to eat it on camera so they can really get the whole effect. All right, thank you. All right, y'all. I feel like I'm smuggling something precious right now. Look at look at that. Like I just want to run to my car so nobody won't try to beat me up and take my fish. <laughs> okay, look at this, y'all. Y'all look at this. Look at this, y'all. Look look at that. Look look at the. They got the crinkle fries. Oh my god. Oh, the white bread. When's the last time you saw white bread? Runny's catfish right here, y'all. I'm telling y'all, I'm about to break my whole diet. <laughs> the whole diet. You know how you go halfway? No, no, no. I'm going the whole way on this breaking the diet. And the thing about it is that fish, we got two three-piece fillets because I'm getting one for my grandma. Y'all gonna meet her later. But that was only like $13, y'all. Where they do that at? They do that at Runny's Catfish. So anyway, man, um, I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. I'm about to go and enjoy this fish with my family. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to this vlog. And um, I'm about to go eat my fish, y'all. And 
The reason why I'm not gonna put that on the vlog is because it's gonna get real, real serious. Like you may see me just but like like have you ever been eating something that was so good you like accidentally bit your finger? Like I, I don't I don't even know I don't even know how how I'ma look and I, I don't wanna embarrass myself on the vlog. So anyway, we'll see y'all later.